everyone welcome to my youtube channel and on today's video i'm going to show you how to make your own packaging bags for your businesses for those that are in the cloth business so with me i have a piece of paper and in this piece of paper i'm going to explain to you briefly on how we are going to go about cutting our packaging bag so as you can see i have a rectangular drone i have a rectangle drone and it is 18 inches by 15 from here to here it's 15 inches and from here to here it's 18 inches so in the real sense i used centimeters but i'm just going to name them inches because now we are going to assume we are cutting on the fabric so and remember when you're cutting put your fabric make your fabric cut two pieces of this okay let me explain so you're going to measure 18 inches by 15 inches and then after you've measured your 18 by 15 you're going to come and draw a square of three inches by three inches on both ends and then on the other side it's going to be three inches by three inches i hope you're together up to there so what you're going to do after you've cut this you are going to cut this part off so this part is not going to be there this part is not going to be there so with me i'll have 18 by 15 but we've removed the three inches so it means this will be 18 by 12 all right 18 by 12 and uh, and uh, so it's going to be 18 by 12 by this 3 by 3 by 15 because remember we are minusing the 3 so i just hope you get what i'm saying this by this is 15 this by this is three inches the squares are three inches so this is what you're going to have so i'm going to show you i've already cut my real fabric so i'm just going to show you how we are going to do it so i have cut my pieces of paper and remember i told you to cut into two pieces so as you can see there are two pieces so i'm going to remove this three the square of three by three and we are going to see how it's gonna look so this is how it's supposed to look this so what you're going to do we are assuming this is our fabric i'm going to go to my machine and stitch this part as you can this part i hope you can see well this line and then i'll make another stitch over here and then i'll make another stitch over here so please let us now go to our main fabric and do this on fabric so this is our fabric and we are going to go right into the stitching so we are going to stitch to join the two pieces of fabric together and we are stitching on the wrong side please remember that we are stitching on the wrong side remember to pass them with me to help me hold the fabric in place I'm going to do the same to the other side to this side So when we get here, this is what you're going to do. You're going to, this is the edge as you can see. So what you're going to do is this, this, I hope you can see, this should touch and this and then we're going to stitch 
through i hope you can see that and then when we stitch you're going to do the same to the other side let me just pin it to hold it in place and then we are going to stitch it through so we are going to stitch that is how we are going to do it do it, repeat the same for the other side so we have stitched we have stitched both sides so this is how it looks we haven't turned it we are going to turn and do the handles so my handles are 16 inches long and one and a half inches wide this this is one and a half and the length is 16 inches so i'm just going to fold like this and stitch along all through so these are my straps as you can see i just folded and stitched here so i had notched my center of the bag this is where the center of the bag is and i had put marks this is my center and i'm going to place my straps three inches you see three inches from the center on the left and the right i'm going to place that three inches and i'm going to fold it i'm going to fold a one inch fold i'm going to show you how i'm going to do it remember this is the wrong side we are going to work on the wrong side so as you can see i've folded my one inch and i've pinned my my straps so i'm going to show you on the other side what i did to this side so i'll take my strap and remember i told you i folded one inch and remember the distance between the center to where the strap is going to start is three inches so i'm just going to pin my strap over there over here like this and then i'm going to pin this way no i'm going to start from here going out outward and what i'm going to do is i'm going to see if they align and yes they do so i'm going to do a top stitch here all the way around and I'm going to repeat, I'm going to do a stop a top stitch from the wrong side all the way through. So let's do this. So we are going to do a top stitch all around. To also hold the straps in place. So as you can see, I did two stitches, one at the top and one at the bottom. It is to safeguard the handles. And so this is on the wrong side. We are going to turn on the right side and then we will see how our bag looks like. So as you can see, this is the end result of the bag. This is the end result of the bag. It's a very nice bag can see the base you can see the sides you can see and it's a big bag the reason as to why i did this video and there's something i want to explain to you guys so this fabric here in kenya a meter goes for around 50 shillings or less and a meter is 40 inches i think wide 40 inches is one meter 
and the the width of the fabric comes in 60 inches so this is my mathematics if you buy a meter of fabric for let's say 50 shillings it will give you these bags around you'll make from one meter you'll make eight eight to ten bags in this size remember this is a big size and you can make smaller size and simpler bags i think i'll do one more bag to show you the smaller and simpler design you can do so if you have a business 50 shillings for close to 10 bags that is some money that's a lot of money you'll have saved for your business so for me i prefer making my own bags because this in the streets you'll get it for 50 shillings and you can imagine you you're buying the fabric for 50 shillings and and out of that fabric you'll get eight to ten bags can you imagine and if you make the smaller size you'll get close to 15 bags so for 50 shillings you're getting around 15 bags the smaller ones and eight bags these bigger ones with this design so in the next video i think I'll, i'm going to do the other design which is very more simpler and anyone can do it beginners can do it anyone can do it so thank you very much for watching and by the way you don't need to overlock this fabric it doesn't fray on the edges and um, it's a very nice fabric but you can't carry heavy stuff it's only meant for maybe your clients maybe the the, the clothes you package for them nicely in nice bags so thank you for watching and on our next video we are going to do the simpler version and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.